go now to Craig with a look at our first day of school forecast for some oh, folks. Oh, fun. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. It'll be, you got you to pull out the layers for tomorrow if <laughs> you're going back to school. Um, in fact, got a little bit of rain, cooler conditions. Jessica, Mark, a couple of systems are going to move through. Not a whole lot of rain, but the 70s that we got to today will be but a memory. In fact, we're going to see mostly 60s tomorrow. Beautiful, though, pretty close to average for this time of year. East of the Cascades, lots of 80s. Most of the rain that does come in is going to be west of the mountains, as we typically do, right? we got temperatures today in the 50s. Uh, we will manage mid-50s for overnight lows with the cloud cover in place, a little more moisture, nice southwest flow moving through. Some of you are getting a few spotty showers right now. We'll take every drop that we can, just squeeze as much as we can out because it's you know, we don't get really strong storms right now. From Crescent, Joyce, Port Angeles, all the way to Squim, Discovery Bay, if you don't have the showers there yet, you've got a little bit headed your direction. It'll be very light. And then you head down to the south, had a couple of scattered showers moving right along the coast. Uh, and we'll see some of these again early tomorrow morning. We've got one more wave coming through tomorrow morning, then another one during the afternoon. They're not strong, but they'll give us those spotty showers. So by 11 p.m., notice a few scattered showers along the coast as we go through tomorrow. This is 7 o'clock for the morning commute. Not all that bad, mostly cloudy. Maybe turn on the windshield wipers once or twice. By the time we get to the 12 o'clock hour, close to lunch, the coastal communities will get some of the rain. And then for the commute home, there's 430. We'll just have a few more spotties again. Again, it's not widespread. I think between 9 tomorrow evening and midnight, the convergent zone will set up right over right between the Olympics or right on, uh, east of the Olympics, rather. Snohomish County, King County, maybe Skagit County, up into the foothills, you'll get some measurable rain. How much? Eh, about a tenth of an inch of rain or so. We do this again on Friday, but mm, Friday's rain's mostly in the convergent zone south sound. Probably not going to get a whole lot at all. These are estimated rainfall totals through the end of the day on Thursday. Notice most spots way less than a tenth of an inch of rain, maybe a little bit more right along the coast coast uh, for forks. Then by Friday, the end of Friday, the numbers get closer to a tenth of an inch of rain. So you can see it's not a whole lot. You'll probably still need to water the plants and the flowers. Ah, maybe do a little yard work like this guy. Look at it in the wheelbarrow. I just got rid of one of these. He's so cute helping out in the yard. Frank, oh, he's so cute. Look at him on his tongue out Tuesday, but it's not a Tuesday anymore. What an appropriate name. He's like a little construction worker. Right? Frank. I'm Frank. Very cute. He's so cute. I could stay on this all day, but let me get you the seven day forecast. Hope you had a great day today. We'll have 60s and 70s tomorrow. A little bit warmer, Jessica and Mark. Frank will enjoy that this weekend.